I actually made a stop in Lona in order to buy some skill potions in case I get any more party members. Okay, let's go to Fisudora. Can I go? Uh, yes, I can actually uh, you do it from an older port. Ugh. Are you sure she'll be all right? Quite sure. Just give her a few minutes to stabilize. After Lumi's on purging, what's our next first move? We should restock our supplies while we can. Gather information from the locals as well. I've heard that weapons here are unlike any other in the world. We should keep that in mind if we plan to update our equipment. Don't forget water. Water is essential here. Most of the monsters are weak to it, and we'll need plenty of it to survive any sort of desert travel. Right. Let's get going. I, I, I can't see anything. Oh no. Maybe I should reload and try to do this from another area. This seems bad. Okay, this time I did it from the uh, uh, from Yeon Port, and now it loaded correctly. I guess they ex didn't expect us to be on one of the other docks, and they only expect us to get there from Yeon. Huh? Yeah, she's she's passed out from all the boat tr the seasickness. Other than that, the scene is pretty much the same. I don't know if I should bother buying equipment if I'm just gonna find more on the r uh, in dungeons anyway. I really don't want to spend too much money. I really rather use it all in skill potions. I'm going to piece of door report. Enjoy your stay here. Like my dancing is quite mesmerizing. Magic Silk Hat. Welcome. Be sure to stock up on items before traveling in the desert. Is there a drought mechanic that I have to worry about where I have to get to, to water sources within time limits? We are the first nation to use firearms and has with magical properties. If you're helpful, you have equipment that can reduce fire, wind, or earth damage. That's, that's way too many elements. Hmm. The short sword is actually stronger than what Lumi has right now. Wow. Is it worth upgrading after all, or should I just w hope I get something good in the dungeons and save on money? Every mu uh, every gold I save can be used for skill potions to help uh, uh, weaker characters catch up. Everybody about a group of merchants and dancers in the desert. Maybe they have something nice to sell. Emmentine found naturally in Fisudora is said to be stronger than Mithril. Potions are ingredients. XL. Hmm. Even XL will not fully heal some of my characters, which means, yeah, I was, I'm probably expected to be around level 30 upon arriving at this place. What? You sell uh, accessories. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Stat books, which I'm saving until I get every party member. Explorer's Striker Visor. Oh, you found me. More stat books. Okay, so we're locked into. Uh, so we have no choice but to go in this dungeon in order to explore the rest of the continent, huh? Desert Mountain Pass. I hope I'm ready, even without uh, buying any of the new gear. I really want to not spend too much money, if possible. Okay, this gives me some fire res. Radiant Feather. XLMP potions. Just how strong are these things, anyways? Oh yeah, a lot of fire uh, uh, creatures here. Frozen wave. I don't know how good that'll be.
Resisted. Okay, she is gonna have to rely on Blade Dance for this one. Well, I can still... I think Area can still carry me for most of this dungeon. Oh, I got XL MP Potion. Good. Are you gravitating to my position? They're so bunched together like that, it's suspicious. Desert Shield. Next map. Oh, a oh, cutscene. Oh no, is Aria gonna pass out? That would make things really bad for me because I'm depending on her water spells. Aria, is something wrong? Just a bit out of breath. We should break here then. No, I can keep going. But you'll be useless in a fight if you can't even cast magic. I would put I would put it a bit nicer than that, but he has a point. You can't cast incantations while out of breath, dear. But it's fine, Aria. I'm a bit tired as well. Me too. My armor is really wearing me down. But you don't even sound out of breath. Josh. If that's the case, I'll scout ahead. I'll join you, just in case. I suppose I shall accompany you as well. We can continue our lessons while scouting. Ah, how efficient. A wonderful decision, Lumi. But of course. Come, let's get a move on. Ah, young love. Is the party gonna be split in two? Oh no. We made it pretty far, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess we have. And it's all next to you, Linky. What? No way. It's all- it's next to every one of us that we've been able to come so far. That may be so, but it's because we rally around you. You're a piece that holds us together and gives us hope. Thanks, Lexi. It means a lot to hear you say that. Careful, dear. Moths of the Flame don't realize how close they are to death. Linky! What the heck? Did he just push Linky off a cliff? Haha, ha, it seems your friend is taking a tumble. But don't worry, dear. I'll keep you company. Lexi, we're coming. Not soon enough. Eek! Is that the same Dark Knight from before? He, they're using that weird teleportation ability where they can pull in party members. Damn it. Wait, where's Linky? Linky is taking quite a fall. I'm sure you'll see him at the base of the mountain. Oh, as a red spot in the ground. You let, you let Lexi go right now. Aria, no. Lexi's too close to him. You'll hit her too. They'll come to him. Perfect. If you're done wasting my time, I have a message for you. No, I can keep fighting. Terence, just stay down for now. One on one, you can't beat him. Especially when he has a hostage. None of us can. Smart woman, I might take you with me as well. Wait, no, that's my healer. Like, I'll let you. Ha, huh, you're funny. Now, if you let me continue. Push me off a mountain, huh? What's wrong? You too afraid to fight me one on one? Blinky. How annoying. I'm just getting started, you edgy bastard. Now let Lexi go. Shut up. Ugh, why do you always have to get in my way? Wait, Derek? Is that you? Derek? No wonder this guy pisses me off so much. It was you in the ice cavern too, wasn't it? Grr. Why are you doing this, Derek? Why are you trying to stop us? I'm doing it for you, Lexi. Everything I've done, I've done for you. He's gone yandere. Oh yeah, sure. Killing me sure helps her a lot. Of course it does, idiot. If I kill you and take the shorts, Lexi gets to live in the new era. New era? You're an agent of Sepphoris. That's right. Humanity's only hope of survival is to bow before the Morians. I was offered a deal. In return for killing the Radiant Ark and retrieving the shards, humanity would be spared of complete extermination. And you believed him. You fool. The Morians will enslave us all. At least then we'll survive. Don't you see? It's either that or we all perish. I'd rather die than live a life of bondage. Die, Len. Die for Lexi's sake. No! Derek, stop this madness! But Lexi... No. Where do you get off making decisions for me? Who said I want to live in a world dominated by monsters? I'm trying to save her life. I don't need to be saved. Derek, I know you think you're trying to help me, but this isn't the way to go about it. No. No, this isn't how it's supposed to be. Derek. I'm supposed to be the hero. You're supposed to be thankful for me for saving you. You're supposed to fall in love with me. I've never loved you, even before all this. What makes you think I'd start doing so now? I... No. I... This... Please, Derek, lay down your arms and join us. Fight with us. You'll see. You'll see the good I'm doing. The obstacles I've overcome to save you. I'll make you see. What? Lexi, how dare you? Now! 
Get away from me! I have no time for you peons! I'm not done with you yet! Nation is ever! I have the high ground! Hmm. There's one last shard that lies within that godforsaken desert. You'll retrieve it and meet me in my fortress to the south. We'll solve things there once and for all. You bastard, I'll kill you! We will see. Don't bother coming without the red shard. The gate won't open unless it detects its presence. Until then. No! Get back here and fight me, you coward! Give her back! I don't think she, her level's gonna scale by the time she gets uh, uh, gets back to the party. Unless the dev decides to kill her permanently, that's also a possibility. Give her back! Please, give her back! Is everyone alright? I can't believe he took down everyone. Back then he was only able to fight Linky 1-1, one, one, but now he took down all the melee fighters in the party by himself. Just a few scrapes. I think Terrence got the worst of it. Damn it all, what in the gods' name was that? That was Derek. I assume from your interaction you have a history with him. Yeah, I... I... I think Linky needs some time alone. Let's save the questions for later, yes? Don't worry, Linky. We'll get her back. Let's get going, then. Unbelievable. They seriously removed a party member. Just like that. Question is, are they gonna kill her off? Sometimes they... They will kill off party members who leave and need to be saved. Just like in now, Fregar. Where they literally killed the only dedicated healer. Separate slot just in case. She wasn't a critical member of my lineup, but still. A little worried here. The Radiant Feather. I missed the chest there. It'd be pretty messed up if everything we found from here on out was a uh, bow weapon. Assault? That sounds like a shield that increases attack, maybe? Yes, it is. That would be perfect for someone like Ryder. Radiant Feather. How do you think he's doing? He still seems to be in a state of shock. Do we do anything? Talk to him? Maybe distract him? I don't know, Richard. I still think, I think, I still think the best course of action is to leave him be for now. But the more we let him stew, the more miserable he's going to be. Huh? What do you want, Tamatsu? I know, we would like for you to calm down and clear your mind. You're not fit for, to combat enemies in the state. I can fight just fine. No, you can kill just fine. It's defending yourself in combat that I'm worried about. You're putting all your focus into aggression with no regard for your safety. That state of mind is going to get you killed, maybe even before you get anywhere close to Lexi again. You shut up. I won't. You need to stop dwelling on the past and focus on the present and the future. I said shut up, Tamatsu. Make me. Rard. Wait! I, I can't... There's no way I can beat an evade tank like him. I gave him all my evasion stuff. Is this really what Lexi's absence does to you? How disappointing. You shut up. Lexi means everything to me. I made a vow to protect her. And, that she, and now she's gone, you're brooding like a child. It's not the end of the world. I don't expect you to understand. My best friend since childhood. The only person I've grown to love since my mother died is in danger. She's in danger because I wasn't strong enough to protect her. I think you fail to realize that we still have time to save her. I doubt Derek will kill her concerning his own feelings. No, he wouldn't. But there are worse things than death. Oh shit. All the more reason to calm down Link. Any mistake you make will only delay her rescue further. You don't get it. I failed her. I failed her like everyone else I've ever loved. Even though I swore I wouldn't anymore. If only I was stronger. Stop it. What? I'll not have anyone fall into that line of linking. You'll destroy yourself. And how would you know? You've been emotionally crippled for most of your life. Because I was once the same. 
The reason why I became the vessel in the first place was because of a longing for power. I wanted to be strong enough to protect my loved ones, to keep them safe. But as the vessel, I had to steal away my emotions, and soon cared more about balance than I did anyone else. I let my pursuit of power blind me from my original goal. And now those I swore to protect are no longer here. I won't let that happen again, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Hmph, a bit melodramatic for my taste, but that about sums it up. Besides, Brat, we're still here and kicking. You haven't permanently lost anyone yet, so stop moping about. Instead, think about what you'll do to the other guy after you save your damsel in distress. That's a lot better than thinking about the sad stuff, eh? Hey, if you had a better pep talk, why don't you say anything, old man? I never let angsty teens deal with angsty teens. Gosh, I think I was like you once. Ho, ho hard to imagine how long ago that was. I'm not that old, you brat. I'm surprised. About what? That my words reached him or my past? Lumi smiles slightly. Can it can be both? Hmph. I suppose. Let's hope that has given him his drive back. His misery was irritating me. Putting on the cold facade again. Surely you jest. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, I see Ankara. Should I go there next? I'm definitely not doing any optional dungeons. The best thing to do in this situation is to grab party members. Scout them from all the nearby towns and grab more loot safely as possible. His Sim Fortress, is that where they're holding Lexi or is it some other place? Mysterious House, I could have sworn I saw that from a different continent. Could be that, that we're a lot closer to the, some of the other continents, uh, continents than we link? Hmm. As usual, I, I wish this place had a mini map. All these uh, overworld locations. It's kind of hard to navigate otherwise. That's where I always end up co coming back to the same rock. So many inns. Then there's the overworld treasures as well. Well. Oh, yes, there was something located at the bottom. Gimme, what the heck is that? Is it, how does it compare to my current weapon? More crit rate, and a lot of agility, but not a whole lot of other stuff. Hmm. It would be perfect for you. Yeah. Mount High Wind is for the Dragoon quest, but... As usual, oh, that's that's where they're holding her chaos tower. We have to fight Derek again. Do we have enough dark resistance? Oh, you found me. Okay, there you are. Spiral tower. Did I loop back around? I think I did. Can't wait until I get the airship so it can it'll be easier to search the overworld. The Nomad Camp. I heard this place will have special shops. 100G. What about you? What do you sell? Rare accessories. Health regen, mana regen. They don't really give much of other stats, do they? Hmm. SP regen might be good for fighter types. Very special accessories. Target rate. Hmm, oh, that would actually be very good for him. For Terrence. Ooh, more gold, but... It also costs a lot of gold to begin with. But I think it'll be worth it. I can make up my losses easily. Who are you? Mer merchant groups often purchase the services of mercenaries to protect their cargo. Can I talk to the dancers? Dancing is a great way to stay fit. Whoa, I did not mean to go there. Hey, seriously, it's... Uh, we don't have a whole lot of wiggle room here. Hmm, you already said that. I desync them. Sure is nice here. Hmm, they now sell ammunition. 
Maybe it'll be, maybe Derek is only weak to ammunition type attacks. Oh, you found me. Okay, there's my Danny stuff. Can I go in here? Okay, a, a shopkeeper? Looking for any potions or ingredients? Hmm. Though without uh, Lexi, ingredients will not be very useful. Desert Hood. Nice to see visitors. Okay. That merchant sells most of the stuff you do. If they're still selling arrows, that means Lexi has to come back, right? White robe. Ah, you found me. I'm back. Parents? Welcome to Ankara, the jewel of the Forsaken Desert and my old stomping grounds. Then point me to the city's finest belly dancers. Yeah. But I want to appreciate exotic dancing. It's a practice found only in Fisudora. I'm sure exotic is synonymous to erotic to you. You know me so very well, my dear. There's an inn not too far from here with a few dancers, but the best ones are reserved for, for the Emperor's eyes. That same inn is known for its beverages, which are said to cool you off in an instant. Can we get some? I'm dying here. I'm sure it's because of your history in Valeria. Your body is not yet acclimated to the heat. Goddess, I never thought I could get so hot. My thoughts exactly, but alas, every time I look at you, your beauty grows ever more apparent. Eh? Careful, boy, she'll melt at this rate. Come on, my man, I'm so proud. My god, you corrupted him. I think I saw some parasols in the market. Perhaps we could get, should get one for Lumi. We should enjoy ourselves while we still can. After we finish our business here, we'll be marching through the desert. An unforgivable terrain with little pe pleasantries. The royal palace is up ahead. Once we're done, we should meet his highness and inquire about the red shard. Sounds good. Let's get going. There aren't really that many towns around here. Amazing, look at all these cool items. Look at my rare goods. I'm too poor. Special armor? Gonna go, hope I can get stuff on the road. Grab water from the inn. Saying, speaking like there's a drop mechanic. Is that breezy vegetable medley, can I have it? Yes. Looks amazing. Here, take this. Giant's necklace. Is that... Uh, is this something to boost my offense? No, it's for max hit points. Amazing. I'd like to talk to this... Uh, to the person over there, then. What? That seems kind of unfair. Unless it's a fake merchant that you just put there just to tease us. Adamantine is stronger than Mithril, but weaker than Dragon Material. Heard a lot of amazing treasure in the surrounding dungeons. Heard about this famous blacksmith living on an island. I think his name was Stid. Maybe he'll make me an airship. Hmm. I'm looking for new equipment for my adventure. Take a look at these, uh, the accessories. We're used to the heat. Hmm. Shotgun is amazing at clearing out groups of weak enemies. There are some merchants in the desert that sell rare accessories. You know what would be good in this water? Some watermelon juice. Rare cherry. I hate cactus monsters. Their needles hurt a lot. Probably gonna do a set amount of damage to me, no matter my defense. Bunch of people on the roof. Wait a minute, is that the Waste Squad? I hope airships will be commonplace one day. They would make traveling a lot easier. Pyramids seem to be filled with monsters recently. Man, there are way too many merchants here. Hmm. I was sent here to help with cleric duties. Someone I can give the fairy, uh, 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 the fairy Sunday to, but I don't see them. Oh, 
Money. Sure is peaceful today. Pressure. Protect from stun blind. My hips don't lie. We're practicing for a per performance for a king later. Dancing is a great way to stay fit. Okay, let's see. Great Radiant Feather. What did Tiger stream of? Is that a fairy Sunday? Can I have it? Yes. Yay, it looks amazing. Here, take this. Shiny gem? What is this gem for? It's a key item, that, which means it's probably needed to advance in a dungeon. Man, I can watch those dancers all day. Look at all this good stuff. Special potions. Skill point potions as well, and Great Radiant Feather. Hmm. Whoa, I didn't mean to activate that cutscene. No, bad. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, just watch where you're going from now on. Of course, you, sp you pickpocketed me, didn't you? That's what they always say when they bump into you by accident. Again, very sorry. Hold there, friend. I believe you have something that belongs to us. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not right. Linky, check your coin purse. Okay, it's right. Wait, where'd it go? It's right here, in this peep's pocket. Shh, damn it. If you want money so bad, then take mine. Here. I don't want anything of yours, traitor. What do you... Wait, I'm... Iman? Iman, is that you? Let go of me. Iman, wait. Terrence, wait up. Damn it, I lost him. You know this guy. What was that about, Terrence? You know that guy? Yes, that was Iman. I used to steal food for him and his sister back when I still lived here seven years ago. Sounds like he wasn't too happy to see you. I would imagine not. I promised to always take care of them, but then I was taken by I Isabel. I jumped at a chance, not even thinking about them until I already left. I just wanted to be rid of these alleys, the constant fear of starving and prosecution. I never even said goodbye. Ouch. That's why I want to find him. I need to apologize for abandoning him and his sister. But where could he have even gone? It's been years, but the streets have not changed much. Beneath the sand slides an entrance to our former hideout. I think it was somewhere around the end, but I can't be certain he would even be there. Let's check there, then. Right, let's go. Quest added. Behind the inn, is it that hole there? Looks like it, but I haven't even explored the inn properly, or any other building. What? Is there- are there multiple districts? No. It's Red Stat Book. Hey, it's Danny. Oh, you found me. Blue stat book, green stat book, orange stat book. Red stat book. Change robe. Red stat book. Mysterious veil. Guild Light Paladin. You can consume the special dr drinks they sell here nearly, near instantly during combat. But will it get us drunk? I don't know how we'll get used to the wear. Nice to see a fellow paladin here. Make sure to grab their special drinks for the hot weather. Hmm. So I have to buy water, apparently. I don't see water here. How am I supposed to do this? Hmm. What if I try to go near the palace? I don't think I can enter. Halt! Say your business. We request an audience with the Emperor. We have official documents from the Guild of Light sanctioning our quest. Wait, this was quest re This is a story required. Alright, please follow me and don't stray. Oh shoot, should I not have done this? Greetings, Traveler. What brings you to my palace? 
Or, oh my Emperor, sign of the Valiant Runin, we beg for your aid. My companion Linky is the fabled Radiant Ark. Our goal is to gather the seven shards and stop the Morian invasion on our lands. We need only the location of the red shard now, if you would bequeath it to us. I see. May I see some proof? Of course. Here. Documents approved by the Guild of Light. Well then, I suppose I'm underbound to aid you. Unfortunately, the red shard is not in my possession. I do know its location, however. Let me guess. The fire spirit has it. Actually, yes. How do you know? Just a hunch, my lord. Yes, the fire spirit Salamandra guards it. It lies within the depths of Nar Aljahem. What's Nar Aljahem? A magma pit that lies within the Fisidoran desert. Oh no, please. It's hot enough as it is now. I should probably swap her for someone else, huh? I've heard of Salamandra. She and Undine are fierce rivals and the complete opposites. Whereas Undine draws power from the moon and water, Salamandra draws power from the sun and fire. When the gods Erin first shaped the elementals in the world, she determined the size of their domains by their power. Undine must be rather powerful then, considering the world is covered by gi with giant bodies of water. But there's magma underneath the earth. That's correct, but Salamandra's domain lies within the core of the planet, beneath even the earth itself. She herself is on part of Undine, if not stronger now. I believe Undine has told me that out of 100 duels, she has only 150, with the last battle ending in Salamandra's favor. You said she's the opposite of Undine, right? That's right. And I can assume she would not want to bend to, to this will of Sepphoris. As far as I know, Salamandra has never yielded to uh, Morian forces in the desert. Any attempt to enter her domain are destroyed. That's good then, right? In a sense, except you won't be able to get there. She's very quick to anger, so please mind yourselves when you speak to her. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Thank you for your time, Emperor. We'll be on our way then. Wait, I have another gift for you. Guards, if you may reveal yourselves. Yo, hey -o, been a while, right, Linky? Uh, Gabe, right? Booyah, you remembered. In your Nuria. Correct. It's nice to see you again. You know these guys? Yeah, Lexi and I ran to them back in Lona. You guys are mercenaries, right? What are you doing here as the Emperor's bodyguards? We were hired by His Majesty to escort him to Lona and the Guild like to organize an assault force to invade Sepphoris' stronghold. He liked our performance so much, he made another contract with us to serve as his retainers. Lots of zeros, so he couldn't really refuse. Wait, I know of you two. Gabe and Nuri of the Black Talon Mercenary Company, the God Fist and God's Eye, respectively. I see our reputation precedes us. Precedes. Oh. That was an um, intentional typo. That too. They're really that famous. Gabe the God Fist has been known to blow monsters apart with a single punch, and has also suplexed the train. Nuria the God's Eye has been known to make impossible shots consistently, like hitting a moving target several kilometers away in the middle of a sandstorm. Wait, did you say he suplex a train? Yes. But how? Heh, <laughs> trade secret. Despite Gabe's airheadedness, he's a very strong and proficient fighter. His strength is comparable to that of an ant. He can lift things roughly 20 times his own weight. Gotta work out that core. These two will accompany you on your quest. I'm sure it'll be of great help. Alright, kicking ass of a goddess has chosen. I can't wait. We'll be sure to make ourselves useful. You won't be disappointed. Oh, good thing I went here first, then. Gotta get everyone to my party. The greatest hand-to-hand -hand combatant to ever exist. I'll try to solve all his problems by punching them. A durable fighter that can take hits. He's better off disorienting and overwhelming enemies with his fast and flashing movements. Does he have a downside, though? Nuri has joined the party. An expert marksman and a student of science. Nuri is profi a proficient user of firearms. There's a multitude of special skills to utilize depending on your weapon type. Pistols, rifles, and shotguns. So I have to ke keep rotating between three types depending on which skill I want. Which each have different effects. So if she lacks magic, she more makes up for it with consistent firepower. I wish you luck in your quest, Ray, and Ark farewell. So you need a red shard to save that Lexi girl, right? That's right. It's the only way to get Dirk to, to get Dirk's castle, apparently. Don't worry, man. We'll get your girl back. Thanks. That means a lot. Hey, old man, I've noticed you don't skip leg day. Is that right? And I'm not that old, brat. I'm only 27. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, wanna have a race? Huh. And you think you'll win? Maybe. Let's go, then. To the gate and back. You're on, old man. Where are you d Ready? Go. Whoa. You, you jumped good. That's a reference to Samurai Jack. Jump well, not good. I know what I said. And there he goes. Your companion has gotten Gabe excited. That's both a good and bad thing. Is he an adrenaline junkie? I suppose. His carefree lifestyle is never hidden at his fears. I believe our group has gotten a bit more lively. I'll say. Hey, Butte. Not interested. Oh. 
Did your friend already stake his claim? Not yet. Well, wait. I see. Pardon me then. You'd really give up so easily? I would never destroy the sanctity of a relationship. And when a lady says no, it means no. I'm not that bad. I see. I apologize for thinking of you in such a light. It's fine. I can never stay mad at such a beautiful lady. I thought you said... I said I wouldn't pursue someone not interested. I never said anything about harmless flirting. Whew. Man, I got destroyed. That's why you should respect your elders, brat. You gotta teach me to jump like that. Ha. Huh. You'll need to become a dragoon then. Anything. I need to jump as good as you. Are you two finished? We need to get the red shard as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm satisfied for now. I'm fine too. Great. Let's get going. And we get a bunch of spare ammo. Okay, but I highly doubt these two are going to have their skills. Oh no, my entire party. Got, uh, need to rearrange it. Okay, this is pathetic. I need to get the experience accessory on these two just to make them catch up. Maybe that's why they have the experience accessory at this point, because they know we're going to need it. Oh, you found me. Yeah, I prob it's probably a good idea to get these guys before doing any other quests in this game. In this continent. Instrument of the Regal Brave. Okay, good. Now I don't have to buy anything for you. Um... It's weaker than my current one, but it also has a new ability, Tune. It also has decent magic defense, perfect for a back row type. What does Tune do? Take less physical damage and medical damage for one turn. How is this any different from just guarding? Or is this good? Can this be applied to other party members? I can enter the palace for and explore it freely, huh? Oh, come on. Don't stand in front of the items I'm trying to loot. Chica Hero's robe. We have a lot of exciting herbs and spices in our kingdom. Our newly created airships can travel the world at an amazing speed. Oh, I guess once we finish our business on this continent, they'll give us the airship, finally. Water is probably the most useful element when fighting monsters here. Unfortunately, I didn't get the third tier water spell for Aria yet, but I should be able to once I level her up one more time. We're known for our airships. They're really expensive to build, however. Monsters are getting very powerful in this region. While the weapons are sufficient, I worry about other nations. I just realized, if experience is a parameter here, yes, yeah, so I think I could actually stack the experience accessory and maybe get them to level up even faster. That's assuming I have enough money, which I don't. Polish you, Bo. Emetine stuff. Emetine spear. Our Emetine equipment is even more powerful than Mithril. Firms empowered by magical munitions are becoming more popular recently. Can we enter any other area? I feel like the maps are getting smaller as I progress in some ways. Yeah, back then castles had multiple stories, but this one only has one floor. Also, the rest of the floors are located behind that door that's being guarded there. Alright, got two experience boosting accessories. It was really expensive, but I should be able to at least make up the cost now that I have the money boosting one too. Dead Ferris Pyramid. I believe that's a reference to Hawk Zombie. I don't see anything outside. Let's go in. Is it going to be like the cameo in Corruption of Laetitia? Where he just does a bunch of weird stuff that confuses the entire party? That was actually a really tough fight. Yes, even though the fight was making fun of his gameplay habits, he was still one of the toughest fights in the game. Maybe even tougher than the final boss in some ways. Oh no, I got ambushed. 
Death Feather Greaves. Oh, what does that do? Wind Resistance and Dark Resistance. Hmm, that could be useful against Derek. Got an MP potion. Money. More money. Is there a puzzle here involving the torches? Ah! Dead Feather Gauntlet. MP Potion. I think that's everything on the floor. Okay, floor two. Five hundred. How the merchants here? Already? Oh, he's blocking the way too. Why are these hallways only one tile wide? That doesn't make any sense. That makes it so it's uh, so that you pretty much have to fight enemies, and the merchant can get in your way so easily. In this case, the merchant should be completely stationary so he doesn't block the way. Dead Feathers Guardian. Five hundred. A gold chest. Dead Feathers Chainmail. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Dead Feather Light Helm. 500. Arrows. Oh, a save point. Okay, the stat books are here, even though we haven't fought the boss yet. And that must be Hawk Zombie himself. There's a dangerous presence nearby. Continue? Yes. Okay, attack up. Lumi. Frozen Wave. Power Song. Recover. He's about to act. He's probably going to do some big AoE, so I'm going to just use Recover ahead of time. Focus. Blind? Move forward. Agility. AOE. Okay. Hmm. Ice. Paco Sphinx. Okay. Power recovery. Ice. 
Ice Queen. Since she has a dark weapon, that might actually be bad for me. I should re-equip her, her on her next turn. Girl on Linky. Do I have anything else that could be useful here? Wow, her attack got pumped all the way to 700. Dragon Smasher, I think, is the next best one. Glory Sword, also good. Strong physical damage can critically strike. Special Fleeting Blade. Song of Vitality. Ow. Power Recovery. Sunlight. Hmm. Full break. I was hoping I could actually hit with this. Okay, it worked. This is a little bit weaker now. So many debuffs stacked up. Oh man. Blade Dance. Hawk is so tanky. I need to save up for Resolve. Text song. Oops. But it, it does provide some magic defense, so we're not entirely screwed by that action. What if I use Freya? Oh, come on! I don't have cover on active on him. Might as well just defend. Bide my time since. Uh, hope he doesn't. That's not an AoE version of jump. May as well just prepare a few buffs here and there, just because. Okay. Raya for real this time. Hmm. Blade dance. Special. Let's see Seraphim. See if that's any good. Resolve.
Am I under-equipped for this fight? I think I might be. Power song. I think I need to reapply expose. Holy shit. Use fire. You summon more. I have a large hit point potion, huh? Or XL. He's still exposed. Oh, nice. Because he was exposed, that did some extra damage. Expose again. Did he run out of MP? Is that why he's attacking? Or is he just attack spamming like the real Hawk? Sorry, Hawk. What sasses do you have right now, Lumi? Okay, she still has one more turn of Ice Infusion, so I might as well just attack. Party Cure. Let's see. Resolve. Does he have innate resistance to physicals? I don't know. Song. Ice Queen. They want to use magic cover in case they target parents again. He does not have normal cover anymore. The spell isn't going on for that long. Enemy is still exposed. Hmm. 
Ice. Wake Dance. He, he really ran out of MP. I can't believe it. That usually never happens, huh? Okay. Now that he's weak, I should go play more offensively here. Gotcha. He's pretty tanky, but not quite as tough as the Corruption of Laetitia version. Dead Feather's Wand. And a bunch of money. Hideout? What? Who is... Oh, it's you. I'm in. You're not welcome here. Get out at once. I will not. We must speak. I have no words for Oathbreakers who have forsaken me and my sister. I have no time to waste on you. Leave. Where is your sister? Where is Farah? She would not usually stray so far from you. You have no right to say her name. It's because of you that she is gone. Ayman, what happened to Farah? What do you care? You left us. Why are you even here? I thought you would have enjoyed your new luxurious life as a soldier of the goddess. Why come back to the life you escaped? Because I want to right the wrongs I have done to you. I should have told them about you all those years ago. Maybe they would have taken you and Farah as well, but I was scared they would only take one and choose one of you in instead. That's why I stayed silent and left you in the dust. I'm sorry. I truly am. Please, let me make it up to you. I promise if you do, you'll never see me again. I will never forgive you, but Farah needs help, so I will put aside my hatred for you for her sake. What happened to her? Once you left, we found ourselves off with our coin. You were on the brink of starvation, begging every day and night for even the smallest amount of gold. When Farah came of age, she was taken in by the madame of the local brothel, where she worked as a dancer. I hid that she had to work in such a station, but she reasoned it was better than laying a starve. This continued until a few nights ago. She was supposed to return here, as usual, but she never did. Turns out she was kidnapped. Apparently one of the re regulars here was scouting for targets. Last I heard, she was sold to a bandit king down south. How did you get this much information? Wouldn't you like to know? Anyways, I was trying to build up a small fortune just so I could buy her back, but now that you're here, I don't have to pay a single gold. Just tell us where she is, Ayman. They're based in the Nevada Fort to the south. Their leader is a ferocious one. You might recognize him. No, don't tell me. That's right, Terence. To Sim the Cruel, the very person who raised your village and slew your parents. The one who sold you into slavery. Fate has a funny way of doing things, no? Thank you, Ayman. I promise Sarah will return unharmed. You don't have to say anything. We'll save her, Terence. And give you closure, too, I swear. Thank you. Quest completed and added. Anything here? Where, where'd he go? He probably went ahead to the uh, to uh, Sim's hideout. Alright, there's Kasim's fortress. Whoa. It's gonna be a big cutscene, huh? Hey, don't worry, bud. We have your back. Let's get going, yeah? Yeah, let's... let's. Why are you here? Any, need any items? Hmm. Whoops. More bandits to slay. We'll grab some loot first. Do they respawn since they're not quite the same as normal enemy types? I don't understand the rules for respawning enemies in this game. They look a lot like the bandits from the caves.
Oh, there's something behind those bars. So do I have to find a key in order to get there? Bandit hoodie. Okay, next floor. Hmm, there's the boss. Whoa. Bandit gloves. Okay, this can get me into this vault here. Bandit boots, full elixir, rain feather, orange stat book, artist archery. Dangerous presence, go. What? Who dares interrupt my entertainment? Farah? Terence, no, that's... Farah, what has he done to you? Answer me, you insolent fools! I am Terence Abd Iron, a paladin from the Guild of Light. Bah, another one of you self-righteous fools. I grow weary of your attempts to kill me. Tell me, Kassim, do you remember raising the village of Cervantes 11 years ago? Cervantes? Aye, it was a good haul. Plenty of slaves and trinkets were pillaged that day. What's it to you? Do you remember a boy no older than seven that you enslaved that day? The one who you kept as your personal whipping boy for a year? Ha, huh, don't tell me you're him. You're here for revenge, are you? You have my friend held in chains. I would retrieve her, then leave this accursed place to be buried beneath the sands. I don't think so, y uh, Yakara. I spent a good bit of coin on this little bitch, and I intended to get my money's worth. What say you come here for your punishment just like old times? Polkara. What you say to me? That's a, some kind of swear word. Polkara ya im, ibn el Sharmoda. Rarg. You fell right into our trap. It's a trap. There's a lot of enemies. Oh shoot, I forgot to move Terrence to the front row. That was dumb of me. Probably just have you move. Move backwards. Pack up on Lumi. I really wish the game would memorize what your starting formation was. It's really annoying when they when this happens. Bandit expert, Kasim. Leviathan. Move, move forward. Ow. Linky's probably gonna die. Okay, we managed to narrow it down to one person. Agility. Ice Queen. Attack up on Linky. Hmm. Heal Linky. Recovery. That was a good call. Healing Linky with Terrence since he was going to move faster. Aqua Bullet. Dodge Song. Blade Dance. Special. Tsunami Strike. Yeah. 
And dead. Went down faster than Hawk, even if he had a lot of allies. And they disintegrate. Mama, Papa, I have avenged you. May your souls rest easy now that your killer has been dealt justice. Parents, it really is you. Vera. Why do you leave us? You utter bastard. How can you leave us without even saying goodbye? I'm sorry. I'm so, so very sorry, Vera. Ivan has told me everything. I, I see. And you know. You know the shame I put myself through. There is no shame in your actions. You had no choice. You had to take care of Ivan. I loved you, you know. I know. Which makes what I did all the more despicable. I will live that guilt for the rest of my life. I can't change the past no matter how much I wish to. But I can't change the present and future. Come with us. We'll escort you back to Ayman. Okay. Sunflower? A spear? Hmm. 70% chance to inflict stun, bleed, and wound. That's a lot. Return to hideout. Yes, yeah, so I already grabbed everything in this place. Sister, thank like the guys you are unharmed. It's so good to see you again, brother. Yeah, return for right back like you said. Perhaps your promises hold value after all. Perhaps. What do, will you do now? Do as I have been doing. Steal more gold until my sister and I can live a comfortable life without her selling her body. It will buy us a grand home and build up the legend that is I'm in the Rogue, Master Thief. Vera will want for nothing anymore. We, since we beat those bandits, maybe you can take over their fortress. An ambitious goal, but perhaps it would be better to be known as I'm in the Merchant. You'll let, you'll also likely be hanged. But starting up your own business is also pretty hard. Oh, you're joking, right? To become a merchant requires price to buying the price of my sister. By the time I get that much gold, I'll be an old man. And it's a good thing Kasim was a hoarder. This is... Oh, we're giving... Uh, okay, Kasim's for a treasure. Take it and make honest coin. Live the life you two deserve. This is a trick, surely. No trick. As I promised, this is where my part in your lives end. Goodbye. Wait. Here. I stole this from a caravan a while back. I wanted to sell it for a long time, but for some reason I could never find my, in myself the part of it. A shame too. A masterwork like this would sell for quite the sum. But I guess it's better for you to have it than it for to just collect dust. This was my father's shield. I remember the pattern and design of the shield perfectly. I f had thought this was destroyed along my village. Heh, <laughs> I guess fate really does exist. I suppose this makes us even then. Farewell, Terence. The next you hear me, it will be as the greatest merchant in all of the world. Goodbye, Terence. Fair gives Terence a chaste kiss. Thank you for giving us a second chance at life. Of course. It is no less what, uh, than what you deserve. Farewell. That was sure something, huh? Yes, that was. Gotta say, though, I feel like we could have used at least some of that gold. Who said we didn't get any? What? By thought... They won't miss a few thousand gold with, with how, how much they got. Seven thousand. Terrence, you sly bastard. And here I was, was just thinking about telling Aria that you kissed another girl. You wouldn't. Just kidding. Maybe. Blinky. You won't tell her, right? Right? Quest completed. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Radiant Arc. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. 